so welcome back everyone today i will be sharing some common mistake that still many windows user are making in 2024 and people do realize about this mistake later or sooner so make sure that you watch the entire mistake and better work on it right now as they are simple and easy to bring in the habit now, number one that is not ejecting the usb before unplugging it and this is a very common and old mistake that, that many people are still making so what happened when you are using any kind of bootable usb or any kind of external drive or usb drive for data transfer when you are done with it the people majority of the people i have seen they simply unplug directly from their laptop or pc that is basically a big mistake because it can lead to any kind of data corruption or even your entire usb can get corrupted so the next time when you are done with your usb or any kind of external drive kindly eject it it's very simple on the right hand corner of your windows 10 or 11 you will find the arrow icon and here you will find the usb icon that says safely remove hardware and eject media just make a right click on it and it says eject data traveler so click on it and then it says safe to remove hardware the device can now be safely removed from the computer so it's a very good habit and in order to avoid any kind of data loss or any kind of data corruption kindly follow this step and now the next and the second mistake that people are still making that is not choosing the high refresh rate for their monitor so what you can do you can right click on the windows icon then you will have to click on settings in the settings you have to click on system from the left hand menu option click on display then click on advanced display and here you get an option of choose a refresh rate that says a higher rate give you a smoother motion but also uses more power of course it will be using the more power but it will give you the smoother performance so if you click on the drop down on my end you can see it's been selected to 60 hertz but i do have the other option here i can go up to 180 hertz but that all you have to test from your own self First you can try with the very top one as on my end it's 180 I can select it then I can check and see that if everything is working fine but if you find any kind of problem then you can reduce to 165 then you can come to 144 then you can come to 120 and see which one work best for you. So very simple task that you can do right now to get the higher performance and better motion. So now let's move with the number three and where I have seen that many people they do not delete many kind of unwanted application temporary files and many kind of bloatware. So whenever you set up a new uh, device it comes along with a lot of bloatware that you can see over here and if you click on all apps it will list you all kind of bloatware that contains get help game bar get it started Microsoft clipchamp mail and i hope so that majority of the people they are not using it but they are still installed on your computer they are running in the background so always recommend it to get the better performance go ahead and delete all this unwanted junk from your device similarly you can bring up your settings then you can go to apps click on installed apps and here look for all kind of bloatware and even many kind of third party application that you are not using they are still running in your computer kindly go ahead and clean them and additionally what else i would recommend you that kindly go and use any kind of third party uninstaller like geek uninstaller wise or the revo uninstaller that will be completely removing any kind of bloatware or any kind of application from your computer all right so i have already created a video on this topic if you need a detailed information you can check that but if you want to uninstall any application completely then you can download any of the uninstaller like revo you can bring it up you can download it and once you download and install it this kind of dashboard of the Revon installer will be up so basically how it help you it will allow you to debloat many kind of bloatware you can completely remove from here you can see that all the bloatware are listed here you can simply select them and uninstall from here which will be completely uninstalling from your device similarly if you have any kind of application any kind of program that you feel is malicious or you're not using anymore you can simply select it and click uninstall click continue so first it will be uninstalling the application and after that it give you an option to scan for all the remaining files so you can click on advanced click on scan now it will be looking for all the leftover file that is remaining in your drive and in the registry like here you can see so what you can do now you can select all these file click on delete click on yes 
then it will show some other location you can select them click on delete click on yes and then it says selected but remaining file will be deleted during the next system restart so you can click on ok and click on finish and the next time when you restart the computer it will be completely removing all the remaining file and this way you can delete and remove any suspicious malicious application that probably can be dangerous for your device and even it occupy a lot of storage in the background so it's a very good habit guys from the next time whenever you uninstall any application use this method and now the next mistake is basically related to the power plan and i believe that majority of the people they even don't know about it so let me tell you that windows 10 or 11 offer you a power plan that can help you to manage your performance or if you're using a laptop then it can help you to increase the battery backup okay so according to your need you will have to choose one power plan very simple to access you will have to click on your windows search type a simple command that will be power cfg dot cpl hit the enter key and this will bring up this kind of power plan here and here you can see in the preferred plan it has been selected to balanced then you have other options like high performance and i have added few more of them and if i click on show additional plan so you can see the power saver gaming power plan and the ultimate power plan right so let's say if you are using a laptop and you are more concerned about your battery backup you need the maximum battery backup then you can go either with the balanced or with the power saver but if you do the gaming and you need the best performance if you are doing editing and you need the high performance then you can either go with the high or the ultimate performance so for the high performance you can click on the show additional plan and here only you will find the high performance so you can select it and it's very important guys depending on your work you have to choose one power plan that suit your requirement so again for the battery backup you can go with the power saver for the best performance you can go with the high performance and now the next mistake is again a very common and a very big problem that majority of the windows users are still making and that is not creating a different partition so what happened when i bring up the file explorer so you can see that i have only one partition here local disk c that contains my operating system and even all my data that i have on my desktop download or document so what is the problem here let's say in the future if your windows get corrupted or anything goes wrong with your c partition so along with your operating system you will also lose all your data because everything is stored in the same partition and that's really a big mistake guys because in future whenever you see any kind of blue screen or anything goes wrong with your c drive your windows is not booting up maximum people are concerned about their data and that is the reason i always recommend you that create a different partition for your data and different partition for your operating system so in order to create it just make a right click on your windows icon then you have to choose disk management here you will find your c drive right click on it click on shrink volume now it will be calculating the space that it can shrink and then it says enter the amount of space to shrink in mb so basically you don't have to take the full space from your c drive keep at least 25 to 30 gigabyte free in c drive rest depending what is the size you can take any kind of a space so for example i will take here 30 gigabyte so i have to enter the amount in mb so 1 gigabyte contain 124 so i will type somewhere like 30000 and then i will click on shrink and 29.30 gigabyte unallocated space has been created now i can make a right click on it new simple volume next 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 and in the volume label i will name it to like data so that i can know for what purpose i have created this partition bingo so now you can see i have a different partition here so from now onwards what i will do i will save all the data in my this partition so even if my c drive get corrupted my data will be remaining safe even while installing any application or installing any kind of game i would recommend you that choose the different partition and select to this e drive so now let's move with the next mistake where basically people are not creating the restore point now if you don't know about the restore point so basically it's a feature of windows that help you to restore your computer back to that stage when your computer was working fine for example if you have created a restore point today when your computer was working fine in future tomorrow next week or next month if your computer get corrupted if it's not booting up then you can restore your computer to the same stage when you created it 
so that all the problem can get fixed. So it's a very useful and the free feature and I always recommend every people that create a restore point now. And again, you can click on your window search, type restore, click on create a restore point. You will be getting the system properties at the bottom. You will find the create option. Click on it. Now here you can give any name like I can give the test. Then I have to click on create and it will take only few seconds and a restore point will be quickly created. And once it get created, it says the restore point was created successfully. So you will have to click on close. And now the next time, whenever you have the problem, so even from your desktop and even if the computer is not booting up, then from the advanced option, you can access this option. Click on system restore. Click choose a different restore point. Click on next. And all the restore point that you have created, it will be listed here. At the moment you click on it and click on next. It will be restoring the computer successfully to that particular date when you created it. So very useful feature guys. Do not miss it and always keep a good habit of creating a restore point at least once in a month. And now the last and not the least is taking the data backup or creating any kind of recovery or backup drive. So there are different ways of taking the data backup. Like you can take the data backup to any kind of external USB or any kind of external drive. Or even you can take the data backup to any kind of cloud server like on Google Drive or the OneDrive or any other kind of uh, cloud storage. Additionally, you also get an option of creating a recovery drive or the backup drive. So you can click on your Windows search, type backup. You will be getting the Windows backup option. From here, you can backup your entire folder, application setting and the credential. And you can backup this to OneDrive. But in the free plan, you will be only getting the 5 gigabyte of storage. So if you want to depend on the cloud storage, then you have to go with the paid plan of the OneDrive. But if you don't want to do this, then you can also take the data backup on any kind of external drive. So at least go with any of the option guys and choose one backup method to backup your important data, files or any other kind of credential. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you found all this information useful. Please let me know in the comment section that which were the mistake that you were making till now and let me know in the comment section. And do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.